Hey everyone, this is Raquel Lopez. I am one of the reference librarians at the East Chicago Public Library. And today I am going to show you um, the basic instructions on how to make a wooden trivet using um, wooden clothespins. Uh, we do have the kits available at both branches. Um, that's the main branch and the pastor branch. The main branch is located in the harbor on Columbus Drive near the police station and the pastor branch is located on Chicago Avenue. Um, each, each branch has kits available that you can come and pick up at the reference department. Just tell them that you, um, you're here to pick up the kit for the wood, wooden trivet and they will give you a bag with, uh, with um, the clothespins already undone for you and the instructions. Um, I would recommend using hot glue but it's up to you. You can also use Gorilla Glue or that E6000 glue for this um, project. Um, these are the instructions. Um, it gives you the instructions from the start, even on how to take the clothespins apart. If you want to do this um, trivet again in the future, um, I give you the instructions that include on how to take the clothespins apart. And it also shows you how to put um, the trivet together and to make a circular shape. Um, some other options are to make the half moon. Um, some people use make them into squares. It's up to you. I'm going to show you how to do a circular one um, just because I thought it was really pretty. So I want to show you guys how to use it, how to make it. Um, I'm going to show you the basic steps on how to do it. I already have one made, um, but to make this video short, I had to make it ahead of time to show you the finished product. Um, what you want to do, the parts come like this. You're going to get 50 of these to make your circular trivet. And what you're going to want to do with the glue is you're going to want to glue these two halves together using the flat parts. Um, some people do it a different way to make the circular, but I'm, I'm gluing the two flats together to kind of make it look almost like a snowflake. Um, so what you want to do is you put the glue down the center, like so, strip of glue, get the other half, stick it together, make sure it's even, and then just kind of squeeze it so that it is together. After that, once you have more parts, you can kind of set, arrange it to see how your circle is going to look. Um, and then glue it together, or you could just do a freestyle, whichever way you want to do it, that works. But while you're gluing it, this is what you want to do. You want to glue the thinner half so that it could kind of make the circle and kind of look like a snowflake. Like I said, that's kind of how it's going to look. So what you do is you put a little bit of glue right here. and you glue the next one to it. Make sure they're kind of even, like so. The glue, you could hide this in the back. But um, they'll glue together, and then you just keep gluing and gluing until you get the circle. Once you're done, your finished product is going to look like this, minus all the little glue strippies. Um, from the hot glue. If you use the E6000 or the Gorilla Glue, you probably won't have all this. But this is what the finished product will look like. As you can see, it kind of looks like a snowflake, almost like a flower. That's your finished product. Um, some people I've seen have painted the clothespins. They paint them ahead of time. Some people have stained them. They stain them ahead of time and then they glue it together. Um, that would take a little bit more time. It depends on how you want to do it. You can do it in various ways. It's up to you. The world is your oyster on how you want to make it. Um, showing you the basic way. Just so you can get a general idea on how to do it. This is my video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you at the library. Come pick up your kit. Again, they're at the main branch and also at the pastor branch. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.